This little puppy was lost. He was all alone in the jungle near a beach. He really needed someone to rescue him. But nobody knew where he was. Until Brian and Victoria saw something in the bushes and became animal rescuers. They talked quietly to the little dog until he trusted them. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, baby. And let them help him out of the woods. They wrapped him in a soft towel to make him feel warm and safe. They gave him some food. And belly rubs! The pup was happy. But where was his family? The rescuers looked, but couldn't find them. And they waited, but no one came to get him. So they decided to make him part of their family and named him Taino. There was just one problem. The rescuers were on vacation, far away from home. So they brought him to the vet, who said he had no fleas, and took him home on the airplane with them. Taino was excited to get on a plane. Well, maybe not that excited. When he got to his new home, Taino was so happy and let his new family know it. But one day, Brian and Victoria saw that Taino was limping. So they became animal rescuers again. They took him to the vet, where the doctor said that Taino needed an operation to fix his leg. Taino's new family was very worried. But the operation went great! Taino had a cast on his leg, but he was going to be A-OK. -okay. He just needed some time to rest. And lots and lots and lots of love. Soon, Taino was healthy enough to zoom! ready to hitch a ride in mom's shirt and grab a drink of water on his walk with dad and do some chair dancing. Taino didn't have it easy at first and went through some tough times. But thanks to Brian and Victoria, he has a loving new family and is so, so happy. If you see an animal in trouble, don't try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. This is Handsome Rob. He's stuck in the middle of a big flood. And he needs serious help. But it's okay, Rob. Someone's coming to rescue you. Hey guys, it's me, Roman. This rescue story starts with a hurricane. It was really bad and left a lot of water everywhere. And Handsome Rob got trapped on top of a car. Luckily, there were good people who wanted to help. People like Keith. Keith was just a regular guy, but he became an animal rescuer. It just kind of wasn't a question when we saw the flood and decided to head down. Keith and his friends got to work rescuing animals. At first, they didn't see Rob. He was still stuck on the car roof, and the water was rising. Rob knew he was in danger, but he was too scared to bark and let everyone know where he was. He's thinking, come on someone, please rescue me. 
But then Keith spotted him. He went right over to help. Keith knew just how Rob felt. It's okay. I know you're scared. Keith was really gentle. He pet Rob and talked to him so the big dog would feel safe. Keith had to get Rob off that car road. But how do you rescue a dog surrounded by all that water? He came up with a plan. He used his rescue paddleboard and a dog moving crate. Soon Rob was surfing. Surfing to safety. Rob was so glad to be off that car and back on dry land. He got his tail wag back. Rob was really happy at the shelter. He was the favorite of everybody and that was when he got the nickname Handsome Rob. And Rob became Keith's favorite too. I see that tail wagging. I knew that this was going to be his forever home. Rob made Keith so happy that he took him home and made him part of his family. Rob fit in right away. Soon, Rob became the boss of the whole house. And he found his spot on the couch that he proclaimed as his. He loved to snack. Tasty cornbread and loved to steal food. He's a really skilled food thief. Would you like to explain what you're doing, Robert? Rob is saying, I don't even like popcorn. Rob spent every minute with his rescuer dad. They hung out from first thing in the morning. Good morning, Robert. He loves to dance on your head. And all the way through to nighttime. When we go to bed, he literally curls up and he puts his head on my shoulder, breathing into my ear. Rob loved his dad. No, you got horrible breath. And he loved him right back. Okay, one kiss. Rob's never scared anymore. He's warm and cozy and safe. And his tail never stops wagging. He's one happy and handsome dog. So that's the story of Handsome Rob, a real animal who was really rescued from a storm. Bye, and bye-bye, Rob. If you see an animal in trouble, don't try and rescue it by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. It's a 911 puppy emergency. Baby Shiner was found by himself outside. He's so tiny and isn't feeling well at all. Don't be scared, puppy. We're gonna do everything we can. We're gonna make you all better. Our first stop is the bed. We check your whole body, Shiner. Your eyes, your tiny toes, and look at your cute tail. The vet says we have to clean you, give you some medicine, and lots of puppy food. Make sure you eat all of it. How are you feeling now? Oh, that's okay. The vet's gonna give you an operation now to make you feel stronger. Let's go, buddy. You did so well, Shiner. Good boy. Have some more food. You're hungry. You're still very tired, aren't you? Close your eyes, Shiner. We'll see you in the morning. Hi, Shiner. Today is a big day. You're going home from the vet. We'll wrap you in a nice new blanket so you're warm and take you to your new home. 
You seem like you're getting a bit bigger. Want to try to play a little? We love how you always do that, Shiner. Two little barks at the same time. Wait, is that you, Shiner? You're playing like a healthy puppy. Now it's time for a rest. Sweet dreams, little puppy. Shiner! You're not tiny anymore. You're huge! And everyone loves you. There you go, buddy. There you go. <laughs> You're a very popular dog. Hey, where are you going? Did you find your best friend, Blakely? Okay, dogs, have fun. We're so proud of you, you big, happy dog, who still does two little barks at the same time. So glad you're feeling all better. What is he doing in winter out on the street? He's lost, and it's snowing. Oh no, he's crossing the street. But then, he wanders over to a stranger's house. Maybe the family inside will see him. They do! They had to act fast. When you're an animal rescuer, you gotta move fast. But the pup is nervous. He is trying to be brave, but he doesn't know who these people are. Like the old saying, stranger danger, he was following that. The boys come up with a plan. A trail of pizza scraps. I know everybody likes pizza. Even people that don't like pizza like pizza. I had pizza one day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Getting closer. And he's inside. No, why is he going back out into the cold? He was thinking, well, I don't really know if I should trust you or not. It's safe in the pizza house, puppy. <laughs> it sounds like it's a house shaped like a pizza. Kept putting down pieces of pizza for him to come get. The dog's trying so hard to be brave. Or maybe he just likes pizza. You could tell he wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. It's like, uh, back. And then, he started exploring the house. He was a really sweet boy. He knew sit. I like that dog a lot. Turns out that dog is super smart. Because the family he found are all professional animal rescuers. And they know how to find a dog at home. They make an adoption video. And soon, a lady named Jen wants to be his mom. She gives him a name, Bowie. Looks like that dog found his super family. From out in the cold to having a new mom. All because Bowie decided to be brave. He rescued himself. Or he really just liked pizza. 
Remember, if you see an animal in trouble, don't try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. When new horses come to this sanctuary, Gypsy Rose! Welcome home, Vegas. They run free for the first time. But sometimes they feel nervous and a little scared, especially around people. So Barkley the dog comes to the rescue. Did you guys meet Barkley yet? He's there to greet them on their first day. How do I get in here? I need to meet these little babies. Barkley's like, welcome home, little horse. You're gonna love it here. Barkley's job is to look after all the horses at the horse sanctuary. And to make sure they're happy so they can have the time of their lives. It's the best dog job in the world. Barkley's always super sweet to the new horses on their first day. Because some of the horses have had a really hard time. It can take a horse a while to start feeling happy again. But Barkley's really good at cheering them up. He just goes over and is like, I'm gonna be your new best friend. And almost never leaves their side. It always works. Barkley plays with the horses and joins them for meals. And in his own way, he lets them know they're safe and that he loves them. One of Barkley's best, best friends is Petula. Good morning, Petula. Petula came to the sanctuary after getting frostbite and Barkley knew exactly what she needed to feel a little better. Hugs. Like about a million hugs. Soon after the hugging started, Petula started to feel pretty good. So Barkley hasn't stopped. He hugs her every time he sees her. Just jumps up and puts his arms around her. It's the best. Barkley and Petula have something special. But Barkley's friends with everybody. From Lulu, the lamb who lives at the sanctuary, to his donkey pals, Bert and Ernie, to his mom. Everyone wants to be with Barkley. But Barkley knows his most important job is to be there for the horses. It's his purpose. Now that's a happy dog, right there. And they're his number one, top of the charts, all-time favorites. And of course, his best animal friends. a lot of dog kisses. What a gentle dog. He's not very fast, but he loves to try and run. But he wasn't always on his four legs. Chimby was really hurt when he first came into the animal shelter. He had two broken legs and he couldn't walk by himself. So when Ellie first met Chimby, she knew she had to take him home and help him walk again. She's rescued 62 dogs. I've only personally fostered maybe 10. She brought him to the hospital where he had surgery and got casts on his legs so they could heal. Good boy. 
surgery went well, but it wasn't going to be easy for Chimby. He'd have to exercise his legs every day for three months. But you could tell he was determined to try. And Ellie would be there to help him. Chimby really loved food. So Ellie had an idea. She held food just in front of Chimby's nose, so he'd have to walk a little bit to get it. And it worked! Sometimes Chimby would cheat and get an E for effort. But most of the time he worked really hard. He would do obstacle courses to make his legs stronger. I'm trying to think of what it reminded me. Kind of reminded me of like floors lava almost, except you can't touch the bars because they're lava. And when he wasn't exercising, he would use wheels to get around. With Ellie's help, he got stronger every day. After a couple weeks, Chimby was walking all by himself. Good job! Come on, Chimby. Good boy! He never stopped trying to get better. And one day, this happened. He was so happy and so strong. He was running up and down the hill like a regular dog. I think he was thinking, I'm running and I won't stop. Chimby was so thankful for his rescuer, but he couldn't stay with Ellie forever. There were other dogs just like Chimby that needed her help. But Ellie knew the perfect person to adopt, Chimby. Janine couldn't wait to meet him. She couldn't wait to get him home and introduce him to his new family. And when he got there, he ran right up to the chickens right up to the pig, his tail wouldn't stop wagging. And when he saw his new brother and sister, his big dog heart melted. Now he's part of the family. He takes naps on the couch with his siblings, grumbles when he's getting hungry, and takes walks on the beach on four strong legs. Remember, if you see an animal in trouble, do not try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. This is what a rescuer looks like. She saves lots and lots and lots of dogs. Today's rescue story is about a hero named Sebahut, who spends all her time taking care of big groups of dogs and puppies who need help. These dogs live all alone in forests and fields, and sometimes even on piles of stuff people have thrown away. So they don't have any people to make sure they aren't hungry or cold until their hero arrives. I saw hundreds of dogs and they were all very weak. He said, I have to do something. Sebahat gets up very early in the morning and packs tons of food and water for the older dogs and special milk and vitamins for the babies. 
It takes about one hour just to put all these stuff in the car. Taking care of all these dogs is very hard work. But Seba doesn't give up. And neither do the dogs. They're always so happy to see her. When she arrives, they rush right up to her car to say hello. The dogs are like, yay, she's here. She makes sure that they have plenty of fresh, clean water. And yummy, healthy food to eat. Mmm, they eat it all up. Or drink it all up. But Sebahut doesn't stop there. Uh-uh. She even builds houses for the dogs. And puts blankets inside so their new homes are warm and cozy. Snug as a bug in a rug. She always has time to give out big hugs to the big dogs. And cuddly snuggles to the little ones. They are not coming just for food. They are coming for our love. She gives them so much love. I can see that they're happy. He is happy. He's even smiling. And so is Sebahut. Whether it's the cold winter or the hot summer, this animal rescuer is making life so much better for so many dogs. A beautiful dog and a cute cat. This is Harper the cat, and that's Cinder the dog. They look like they're best friends. But before they were friends, Harper was just a tiny baby kitten who was all alone in her yard with no one to take care of him. But luckily, some people found him. They knew he needed a rescuer. <coughs> So, they brought Harper to an animal shelter, where animal rescuer Shannon could look after him. He was so teeny tiny, he was like this big, and he just was purring and purring. Our hearts just instantly melted. Shannon and the other rescuers noticed there was something special about Harper. Harper couldn't use his back legs. <coughs> That's just not a very good start to a young kitten's life. But the people at the shelter knew just how to take care of a special kitten like Harper. He was scared, so first they cuddled him. I think he feels like, okay guys, I can start to get used to this. And then they introduced him to someone who'd be able to play with him all the time. Cinder. I would call Cinder the amazing. Cinder the amazing. The moment I brought him in to meet her, the look in her face, she was like giddy, instantly playing. He was purring nonstop. It was just beautiful and magical. Cinder was obsessed with Harper. She just wanted to lick him like all the time. He's probably like, get off, I'm clean already. Harper and Cinder were best friends. And you could tell because of how much they would cuddle on each other and play and they needed each other. Cinder helped Harper feel so much better that soon he was ready to try a cat cart. I think he loved the cart. Harper's cart helps him run around like a crazy cat so he can run around and chase other cats around the house. He can go just as fast as he could with his back legs. Maybe even faster. Because mm -hmm. he can go shoot, 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 shoot. Here we go. Pretty powerful little cat. Harper came out of his shell because of Cinder. I think Harper really needed that. Everyone just needs a friend. Someone that can just understand them. It's just a really cute story.
Remember, if you see an animal in trouble, do not try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. Maggie the dog loves going on adventures. She loves the feeling of the wind on her furry face and exploring secret passages and caves and loves taking long swims in mountain streams. Maggie also loves her best friend Frankie, who's a goat? Wait, Frankie is a goat? A goat who rides in a car? Do Frankie and Maggie's parents know about this? They do? Well, I guess that's just the way this family is. A mom, a dad, and a car full of best animal friends. Maggie and Frankie have been traveling together since basically forever. They're always excited to see new places. Whether it's sunny, rainy, windy, or even frozen solid. They'll go on any adventure and sleep almost anywhere, as long as they get to do it together. Maggie and Frankie are both great hikers. Frankie's also an expert climber. She's so brave. Whenever they see a stream to cross, Maggie and Frankie say, no problem. But Maggie's the best swimmer. When she's in the water, nothing can stop her. Frankie's like, if you're swimming, then so am I. Maggie and Frankie have traveled thousands and thousands of miles together. They walk a lot. But mostly, they drive. Their parents' trailer is perfect for long road trips. It's bright, comfy, and has everything a goat and a dog could need. It's colorful, too. Their parents decorated it themselves. Maggie and Frankie love looking at it. And after a long day of crossing bridges, exploring deserts, and running through streams, Maggie and Frankie know that their home on wheels will always be waiting for them. Ever since Frankie was a little baby goat, she had so much energy. She just wanted to explore. But they weren't sure whether she'd like being in a car. Would she sit nicely and quietly? Or stick her head through the roof? <laughs> but with Maggie by her side, she loved it. As long as Frankie had Maggie, she could ride for miles and miles. Maggie's kind of an old lady. She's seen it all. So she helps Frankie feel relaxed and calm. Frankie looks up to her. Maggie's like, hey Frankie, follow me. And Frankie's like, okay Maggie, anything you say. As Maggie got older, she couldn't hear as well as she could when she was a puppy. Sometimes that happens to old dogs who've seen it all. Luckily, Frankie has a great set of ears. And on one of their hikes, Frankie heard something. Sure enough, Frankie had spotted a mama bear and two of her cubs and wanted to keep Maggie safe. Now, Frankie leads the way whenever they walk outside together. No matter where they go, Maggie and Frankie will always be there for each other, enjoying meals, taking the longest walks ever, 
snuggling all night long, or getting ready for their next adventure. Their best animal friends. Forever. I've never seen a dog bedroom like that before. This is Buster. And this is Buster's doggy bedroom. He has a bed, a few of his favorite plants, and a TV. He had a pretty good setup. Buster's dad built this bedroom to help Buster feel safe. Because Buster used to be a really shy dog who was really scared of people. He would run and hide whenever anyone got too close to him even from his own dad. And he was a very loving dog, but it was just something which was making him very, very nervous. Whenever his dad came downstairs, Buster went upstairs. And when his dad went upstairs, Buster ran downstairs. He just wanted to stay out of the way. But Buster's dad loved him so much, and he really wanted to help so, he decided to do the best thing for his nervous little guy. Buster's dad measured and cut and made the frame out of wood. Then, he put in a window and a warm, soft bed. He even added cool lights and decorations for Buster, too. And the minute Buster saw his new room, he loved it. Like, he really loved it. He started spending a ton of time in there because it was cozy and safe and just for him. And just like his dad hoped, Buster started to change. He started to play with his dad more and run around the house more. Basically, he was a happy dog who loved his dad. He just seems to be far more relaxed around me now, and it's great to see. He's just a really cute dog. Now that Buster was feeling good, his dad thought that he could help other people feel better too. So that's when Buster started school to become a therapy dog. Buster's job is to visit people in hospitals and nursing homes and anywhere people need help to cheer them up and to make them happy. Kind of like how Buster's little bedroom makes him happy. Buster's dad was a real animal rescuer. I think the dad would do anything for Buster. Sometimes it just takes a big heart and a little doggy bedroom to be a hero. It means a lot to rescue animals. It makes a big change in the world. Come on, Olive. You can do it. Olive's having a hard time walking. She was in the park one day when she hurt her leg. Little Olive's worried. But we're here, puppy. We're gonna try to get to the bottom of this. We're gonna make you all better. Good girl. I know it's a little hard. Your legs are so furry and long, Olive. The vet says we need to stretch them every day. Practice standing. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Until you can walk on your own. Good girl, Olive. Yeah, you're such a good girl. You're not walking on your own yet. So we give you a special harness to hold you up and help you move. It's hard. 
but you're so determined. We'll keep trying tomorrow. Hello, Olive. Hi. We have a new exercise to try. A big tub of water where you can walk and float at the same time. Somebody is getting much stronger. Let's try walking outside with your new walking cart. You're going so fast. Go, Olive, go! You love your cart, don't you? You just want to play. Almost there, Olive. We can try some other ways to help you walk tomorrow. Hi again, little Olive. I think our exercising is working. Your legs seem really strong today. Do you want to try walking in the yard? We'll wrap a blanket around your body to make it a little easier. <gasps> Look at you! We can't keep up. Maybe you're ready to run without any help at all. But first, you get a massage. Because you must be sore from all this exercising. And because we love you. There you go, puppy. You seem so relaxed. Good night, sweet girl. Today is a big day. You've exercised and exercised and practiced and practiced. You've worked so hard. Time to see if you can walk by yourself. There you go. You're running, Olive. Hello, happy girl. You're the best. Thank you for giving kisses to your mom. And jumping all over that ball. Are you trying to start a race? Hey, you come back here. We love you, Olive. So glad you're feeling all better. dog hops just like a kangaroo. He even looks like a kangaroo. He got big old ears. That's probably why his name is Joey. Joeys are what they call baby kangaroos, if you didn't know. Joey was found when he was just a small puppy. The person who found Joey took good care of him. But Joey needed special help. That's because Joey has two legs instead of four. Joey really needed someone who could give him lots of attention and love. He needed a really special rescuer. When an animal rescuer named Erica first saw Joey, she knew she was the right person to take care of him. So Joey flew on a plane all the way to America. And Erica brought him to her animal rescue. He was a little bit shy at first. But once she introduced him to the other dogs at the rescue, he felt right at home. He became best friends with everybody. He was a super happy dog. Erica was sure someone would adopt Joey soon, but she was still worried about Joey. He didn't always look comfortable getting around. He does bang his chest pretty hard sometimes when he's chasing the other dogs or when he's walking and he's tired he kind of like uses his face as like a cushion on the floor. So Erica decided to get wheels for Joey so he could move around like the other dogs and wouldn't hit his chest on the ground so much. They took Joey to a special animal doctor and got him a brand new set of wheels. I don't know if he's gonna like them because he's been without them for so long. 
But when he tried them on for the first time, he really did not like them. He just wanted to keep hopping like he always had. All he's known is not having his two front legs and he seems pretty happy. And as long as Joey felt happy, Erica was happy. Joey and Erica did everything together. Joey goes everywhere with me, goes to the rescue with me, he comes home with me, goes to my parents' house with me. I've taken him to the beach. When they go pet store shopping, Joey's laying in the plush toys. He likes playing with sticks and digging around in every patch of dirt he could find. And snuggling on the couch. He was a really happy dog. Erica loved taking care of Joey, and Joey loved her right back. It wasn't long before Erica decided she wanted to adopt Joey so they could keep doing everything together. It's official. I decided to adopt Joey and make him a part of my family. Hey, Joey. I wasn't really surprised because you could tell from the beginning that those two were meant to be. Now, Joey has a forever home, and Erica has a very special pup. Remember, if you see an animal in trouble, do not try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. Um, Lola, did you just sit on Pepper? Excuse me, could you please move over a little bit? You are on my face. That's better. These two are kind of like sisters. A big bunny sister and a little dog sister. In other words, they're best animal friends. Pepper is your classic big bunny sister. She always has to be first up the stairs and she needs her blankets to be just right. Hey, this wrinkle is supposed to be over there. The first time she met Lola, she just decided that they were going to be best friends without even asking. She was like, hey, guess what, little sister? We're best friends now. And Lola was like, Okay, I like your ears. Soon Pepper showed Lola all her favorite games. Like exploring outside, and hide and go seek. Gotcha. And running upstairs, and eating paper. And with Lola's help, they even invented some new games together. Like the bouncy game. And this, I'm not sure what you would call this. When they get tired of playing, they take breaks for baths. And naps. So many naps. These two do pretty much everything together now. And even when Pepper acts like a bossy big sister. Hey Lola, follow me. Lola doesn't seem to mind. She looks up to Pepper and loves her with her whole dog heart. But one day, Lola didn't feel like playing. She was sick and didn't want to climb up the stairs or explore outside. But Pepper was like, don't worry, Lola, I'll stay right by your side until you feel better. So she snuggled up to Lola and gave her kisses with her tiny twitching nose. Hey, Pepper, that tickles. Until Lola felt better. And then she gave Pepper a giant hug to thank her for being such a good sister. 
Then they were back to going on adventures and getting into trouble. Because whether these two are playing bounce, 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 or just taking a quiet nap, they always have each other's backs. That's what sisters are for. And why they'll always be best animal friends. This puppy has a hard time walking. That's just the way Edna is. But she wanted to learn to run without falling over. Something clicked and I was just like, I, I just gotta help out this baby. So that's when Kindle became an animal rescuer. That means big responsibility to be an animal rescuer, but there's fun to it. You get to help dogs and get to help all sorts of animals. Kindle took Edna home with her. Her whole family fell in love with the sweet puppy right away. Aw, she likes chewing on water bottles. And they started trying different ways to help Edna walk. They got her a special little wheelchair just for dogs. That wheelchair kind of looked stranger than usual wheelchairs do. Most dog wheelchairs have two wheels. So instead of a wheelchair, since it's more like a cart, we should call it a cart chair. Then Kindle got Edna a special vest to help her move around without falling. But it didn't really work. Nothing worked until the best thing happened. She met a little dog named Gertie. Hi, Gertie. Oh, that little puppy. Edna and Gertie loved each other, like right away. I thought they were pretty cute together. They would do basically everything together. They were both a little troublemakers. Edna chewed on bottles and Gertie pulled pants. When they play outside, Edna couldn't always keep up. Gertie was so patient with her friend. Instead of running around and having Edna chase her, Gertie would play with Edna down in the grass. They played very nicely together. Soon, something amazing happened. She's starting to walk! Edna kept trying to walk and follow Gertie. That really helped her, I think, along in her therapy. I'm doing this, doesn't matter who says what, like, I'm going to walk, I'm going to follow Gertie, I'm going to go do this. Edna started to get better, and better, and better. I don't think Edna would have been able to do that without Gertie. Gertie showed her, like, this is how you do it. Now, Edna chases Gertie everywhere as fast as her little legs can carry her. I'm pretty sure Edna is probably one of the happiest puppies in the world right now. They just can't stop hugging. Henry and Kiki may look exactly alike, but that's not why they're best friends. It's because they have a lot in common.
Before Henry met Kiki, before they were wearing matching tracksuits and wagging their tails in exactly the same way, Henry was an only dog who just lived with his mom. But something wasn't right. He'd make these noises and give his mom looks like he was trying to tell her something. His mom thought maybe he was asking for a friend. So she adopted Kiki and brought her home. Kiki was a foster dog who lived with different families and moved around a lot. She was kind of shy and nervous. Kiki wanted a forever home more than anything. The day her new mom came to get her, Kiki was wondering, would she have to move again? Or would this be her home forever? She was super nervous. But on the car ride to her new home, everything changed. Because Henry was there. He was so excited to have a new friend, he showed Kiki all the fun things they could do in a car. They could feel the wind in their ears, say hello to dogs on the street, take an extra cozy nap, and explore the world. Henry made Kiki feel so good, she stopped feeling nervous. She had a feeling she was going to her forever home, and that Henry was her forever friend. Since then, Henry and Kiki haven't left each other's sides. They even have a daily routine that they have to do together. They kick it off with some good morning kisses. Then they race each other around the block. It's usually a tie. They dig for treasure, say hi to the neighbors, get a big hug from mom, find the comfiest spot to nap in, and go for more car rides. They've never even had an argument. They don't even fight about where to sit in the car. Kiki has the window seat because she likes to look outside, and Henry sits close to mom because he likes to watch her drive. Once in a while, Henry also likes the window seat, but they don't even fight about that. Kiki thinks of it as a chance to lick Henry's armpits. No matter what Henry and Kiki are doing, you'll probably find them together. They're inseparable and adorable and best animal friends. He's trapped in a well. The puppy's like, man, I'm so scared down here. The dog tried so hard to get out of there, but he couldn't do it by himself. So this guy did something very heroic. He became an animal rescuer. It was not going to be easy. The well was huge and had a bunch of muck and stuff in it and brown water, which is never good. Looked like there was some trash in there. Wait, no, not some trash, a lot of trash. If the rescuer wasn't careful, he could get stuck in the well too. But he had to rescue the dog. So he used a rope and a harness to climb down into the well. The rescuer is probably feeling like Man, Pup, how'd you even get over here? It was really cool, because he had to hold onto the rope and then jump into the water. He reached out his hand so the dog could smell it. When they're smelling the hands, they're saying hello. They're trying to get used to the people so that way they aren't they the people don't become strangers anymore but something wasn't right the rescuer forgot he was wearing gloves he took off the glove and the dog started to trust him the safest way up was to carry the dog in a net the pup wasn't too sure about that plan. 
Dogs don't really like nets. It's one thing I know about dogs. They like hugs. The puppies probably like, oh man, I want to get out of this well, but I'm scared of that net. And the rescuer is probably thinking, well, little puppy, if you get in the net, we'll be able to get you to the surface. The rescuer was very calm. He waited until the little dog was ready. The rescuer got him in the net. And now it's time for the puppy to be taken up out of the well. He did it! The puppy's out of the well. That rescuer really climbs like a monkey. They carried the little dog someplace safe, far away from the well. The dog's free, and he looks so happy. He's saying, thank you for rescuing me. It felt really good seeing that dog get free. If it weren't for this very brave rescuer, this dog might have been stuck down there. If you see an animal in trouble, do not try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. Dodo Kids! Help the kittens find the subscribe button.